The Chinese tech firm Pony AI is making its United States trading debut after raising $260 million in an initial public offering. The company makes sensors and software for self-driving vehicles and also offers autonomous robo-taxi services. Let's talk to James Peng, the Pony AI CEO. James, welcome. Well, how do you feel? I guess like an expectant father, slightly nervous and, and well, how is it? How do you feel? What an extraordinary big day for you. Yeah, exactly. Just as you described, I felt excited, anxious, and at the same a bit exhausted. So, so it's all that feelings together. But, but uh, overall, it's it's really thrilled to to be at this milestone for the company. Well, look, while you're feeling all of that, why don't you be a news correspondent for us for ten seconds? Because you're our best man there. What's the share price doing? Uh, I think currently we're up about 17% at 1550, uh, 15, 15, 15.20 now. It's actually a, a big screen behind me. Uh, so, so I think that's, that's quite stable and, and, uh, and feels good. Hey, you've got the job. You're better than our usual guy. Um, the company is one of the first to offer autonomous robo-taxi services in China. Just how big is the market now? Oh, I think the, the market potential is going to be enormous because essentially I think the, the, we all drive cars. We know driving can be boring, boring can be unsafe. And, uh, and our, our vision is to really get, use our virtual driver to really make the mobility to be safer, efficient, effective, and eventually to make our lives better. James, this isn't really a thing in Europe yet. I mean, let's talk about autonomous uh, driving. Where are we now in terms of the global uh, snapshot? And what impact might it have on, uh, on mobility, for example? Yeah, I, I, like the adoption of any new technology, it will take some time for the users to accept it, for the regulations to really uh, path to support it. So it's going to take a while, but, but as Pony stands now, we have launched large scale, fully, fully driverless, mean, means there's no one inside the vehicle for passengers uh, in the four tier one cities in China. And we are about to actually have a large scale uh, production and be launched in, in uh, more areas. And actually for, for Europe, we actually have our first uh, baby step into the Europe. We actually signed a deal with Luxembourg to have autonomous driving into the, the European uh, continent. Before you came on air, we spent large amounts of this program talking about the imminent arrival of uh, President-elect Trump and, and tariffs and what that might mean for the world. Um, what might it mean for you and your company? Yeah, well, 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 all finger crossed. I think in, in usual the competition is inevitable, and it might be a, a actually a, a stimulus for us to, to move move quicker to uh, actually bring the uh, technology and our product to to more markets, so that we, we can have a a good standing. James, this is obviously a huge day for you um, professionally uh, and for the company. What are your ambitions? Where do you want to take the company next? Yeah, I think being a public traded company has always been a, a very important milestone, but this is just the beginning. Uh, as the, the mobility markets, as we already described, mobility markets are huge. It's very beneficial to our, all our lives. So, so we'll continue to push through and uh, uh, really make autonomous mobility everywhere so that uh, we can really reap the uh, benefit for the society. James, uh, congratulations, good luck and thanks so much for coming on the program. James Pang, Pony AI CEO.